Hi, North Olmstead families. This video is going to help you find your child's Google Classroom so that you can see the things that your child needs to do um, during our fourth quarter. In order to get to Google Classroom, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. The first way is you can access Google Classroom through Clever. Um, if you are not signed into Clever, I'm gonna log out for a moment. You want to open whatever browser you have on your computer. So that may be Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Microsoft Edge, um, Silk. And you want to go to clever.com slash in slash nocs. And it's going to bring up this page. Once you get to this page, you're going to click Login with Google. And if you're not already logged in, you're going to use your child's Google username and password that you've been using these last four weeks. Once in Clever, your child is going to simply scroll down until they find the Google Classroom icon and click on the Google Classroom icon. This is going to load the dashboard with all of their classes. If you're having a hard time accessing Clever, please let your child's teacher know, but know that you can still get to Google Classroom. If you go and open your browser and type in Classroom, Dot google dot com it will take you right to the Google Classroom page. Please make sure that you are signed into Google or signed into Chrome with your child's username and password. Parents, you are not able to join your child's Google Classrooms. The students are the ones who join the Google Classrooms. Once students get to that Google Classroom dashboard, they want to make sure that they've joined each of their Google Classrooms. Elementary students will have two to three classrooms to join, uh, middle school students four to five, and high school students will probably have a class for each of their courses at the high school. Right here, I'm gonna click to join this class. When I join, it's automatically going to take me in the class. That's okay. I can jump back out to see all my classes again by going up to the left-hand corner, clicking on the three lines, and selecting Classes. Once you're in Google Classroom, there's a few quick things to pay attention to. First is the stream. Students may see announcements on the stream, they may be able to post and ask their teacher questions on the screen. Do keep in mind that this is a place for students to interact. Parents, if you have questions, you need to email your child's teacher. Classwork page is where students will see any assignments that the teacher has given them. We are asking teachers to have assignments up and ready for access by eight o'clock on Monday morning of each week beginning on April 20th. You may not see anything in your child's stream yet, but come April 20th, you will definitely find things in their stream and in their classwork. Students can scroll through the stream as it gets longer. To go back to the home page of that Google Classroom, they simply click on the title of the classroom up in the left-hand corner. Again, to go back into other classrooms, they select the three lines and select classes. If you have questions about things that your child is being asked to do, please reach out to your child's teacher first. They're gonna be the best ones to help you initially. 